just realized that I think Legends of Tomorrow essentially had their own masked singer um, in last week's episode. And I know people are probably going to be like, really, in their deepest sarcasm ways. But look, singing competitions, like, they're not really my forte. They're at the bottom of the list alongside um, tripe like Love Island and whatnot. Unless it's Eurovision, then I'm just happy to see everyone rip the shit out of each other. Because I know the UK are just going to perform poorly, but we performed like... We, 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 we took the cake this year. So, yeah, but this is not about Eurovision. Um... <laughs> No, but, um, yeah, it's just dawned on me because of the fact that we had Lord Knox, who was, uh, who, whose true self was revealed at the end, out of the suit, before two seconds getting squished. So, uh, whereas for the majority and, and during the competition, uh, he was in his suit. So, yeah, but um, that's just my little... Liam bit of the day, I guess, so, <laughs> yeah, but, uh, yeah, hello everyone, Liam Caddison here, and we are reacting to Legends of Tomorrow with episode number four for season six, yes, um, I don't know why, but with this show, it's quite unorthodox, and I love it for it, uh, but I think there was a sprinkle more, like, um, craziness to last week's edition of Legends of Tomorrow for some reason. I have no idea, but we'll just roll with it. But yes, um, as I said, we had Zari uh, defeat Lord Knox in the um, singing competition that they were in last week, and it was quite, it was quite a journey, wasn't it? So yeah, uh, but we also focused on Sarah as uh, she was having the time of her life, apparently. So before meeting this mysterious figure who quite to be honest uh he's sending me red flags so that's great um but who knows he might just be a friendly face we can't just jump to assumptions already just because oh we haven't seen you before you must be evil or whatever so yeah but um no uh last week uh this season has just been a really really uh good season as uh you'd expect for legends of tomorrow this show has really um done wonders especially since season three i mean season two i thoroughly enjoyed but um the whole concept really shifted up a gear um season three onwards and um, season six is just continuing to be impressive so awesome stuff so yeah with that said let's get into episode number four for legends of tomorrow season six let's go don't come close to the mysterious object that's just yeah, oh no, that's not good. That looked like a tentacle. Uh oh, this is gonna be fun. I could change my hair if it would help. Oh, what? Whatever's Playing on the heartstrings. It's not my fault. Hmm. I was <laughs> it's Whatever you say. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yep, that that puts a whole new meaning to... Yeah. 44. Redacted? Ousted? Where are these words coming from, Rory? A lot of words. Look, uh, thanks for <laughs> cleaning me up. Oh, thank you. Oh, you even smell nice. Let's okay. have Avalanche okay. reunited in this episode, please. Episode. Don't break oh, my heart. Okay, honestly. I'm spoonless, like, um... Hey, we've got two episodes in a row that Nate stealed up, although he did steal up earlier in this episode, right? In the middle of the Cuban Missile Crisis. And helped us steal a nuke. So? So! This is the moment in history when Americans and Soviets came to the brink of nuclear war if we so much as sneeze. Okay, nobody move. It could be Armageddon. Okay, but we can still <laughs> find the alien that <laughs> helped us find Sarah. You remember to cloak the ship before we left, right? Nope. Oh no. This is just all falling apart. <laughs> Four guards. We just blow the place this Okay, minute. I'll take it from here. They're not gonna let you just walk through the front door. That's exactly what they're gonna do. Let's go. Bayrod, come with me. Why do you keep grabbing me? Look, it before Captain, Mick's planet was actually leaders, the only way. Bunkers, nuclear missiles are just not feeling the energy of this mission. Too bad because I need your energy, okay? Can't afford any hotheads starting a nuclear war. Hey, I'm just gonna help you find you. Both sides lost. But. When we're talking about lobbing nukes at one another, that is the only way both sides win. 
piece over there. Gotta have this okay. nailed okay. down. Ah, just in time, Comrade Oh, shit, here we go. Working, and we are I probably should have mentioned this before, but I do not like blood. Relax, everyone. Plus, is it a good idea for him to be, to be here a, after a, his whole trip earlier the t in the yes. day, it seems? Oh, boy. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Just a little tiny bit of blood. Oh! <laughs> what do you say? Never believe it. The Russian ambassador just accused us of attacking Cuba with a steel man. Mmm. 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 Ah. Is that? At least yep. it's a good photo. <laughs> If Cuba is attacked by squids, I will wipe Washington off the face of the earth. Ooh. Oh, they? no. Mm. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen this brand before. They're not for everyone. <laughs> He's, oh, my. I just need to know where you took my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, I did not like that insertion. So now we have an alien on the loose if I can force in a space. Come on, a piece This is bad, this is bad. He's getting emotional. I mean, these are emotional times. In place of this one fragile planet, and the only way forward is love. Very deep. Very. Oh! <laughs> You're too high. How about another tune? Told you that thing was sent to kill. So he's preparing to launch a nuclear missile at DC. Yes. Why does Castro have a nuke? Because we give it to him. He said no shooting. I said no. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is not happening. Oh, okay, okay. oh well, this is oh, all... Heads are prevailing in DC. Uh, this is all perfect. This this whole plan has just been a perfect success. One of our boys flying over... Those clever commie bastards. Our only defense is to attack the USSR. Jack, Oh, shit. This is it. This is it. This is... Take us to DEFCON 2. Uh, oh. Yes, sir. Cold War. Uh. Sir, maybe I can help. Oh, my God. Okay. Sounds like you're up, Rory. Thought I, was I just love how Back they are the making things up better. You want us to kill the alien? We don't have a choice. Okay, Spooner, I need you to help him track it. We need to de-escalate the situation and get history back on track. This is it. This is it. Because otherwise, World War Three happens. And if we don't kill it, then Castro starts a nuclear war and Sarah does... Right. At least I know what I'm here for. Shh. I feel like this is going to be pushing Mick out of the Wave Rider, so... Aliens got... Ship not yours. Well, you can fry here. But I'm Damn it. You help me find my friend. I don't She's think that was a question. Oh. She. What three day weekend? And who all received that order? <laughs> the entire strategic air command? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no. This secretary has been countermanding your order, sir. And if Fidel Castro launches that missile, you have only got seven well. minutes to order up the guts to stand up to those commies. Come on, Nate. Punch him. Do it myself. Nate, punch him. One more step. Or what? Oh, yes! Wow, look! That was badass! Damn right. Look, Jack, I didn't go broke. 
I'm here to protect the world from guys like him. Out of the hands of those lily livered Harvard boys. Okay, crimson on three. One, two, three, crimson! I, the, 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 this is a kind of unorthodox situation though, like... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the world is about to end and this is... <laughs> Oh, Jay. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Can you not blast him out the way? Good on, mate. It doesn't mean we have to take the whole damn world with us. This is it. Come on, Nate. Be the... Right. Be the voice of reason. This football. And you can sit down. Was it a dud? It was. Oh my god, he just got squashed! <laughs> uh, self, but had you listened to any of my orders, we'd have absolutely no hope in finding Sarah, so I. I guess you got this. Stop saying nice things. Aww. Nick really has shown in this episode. Bring me back my girl, okay? Save the world. Reasoned with the alien. I hate that I'm a reminder of everything we lost. You're not. This is it, though. There's going to be a lot of guilt for yeah, this, sorry. First. But now... Now but you she's should remind me of you. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Mick has just been offended. <laughs> Here's to long journeys. <laughs> there we go. Mick, Mick, temporary Captain Mick. Just, um... Has met his match. So this is it though. He like for this time being, whilst this whole shenanigans and this whole situation, should I say, is gonna play out with um um Kayla I assume and um um you know, her trying to find a ship and all that. And and not just that though, but after what Mick did in this episode, he's got his uh, role as temp captain. This is his reward for not just saving the world, um, not just like giving hope to finding Sarah, um, with this like, um, I don't know, align alliance with uh, the alien, uh, but just everything in this episode. This is his reward. So. But I, I really liked how Mick shot in this episode. Like, I like I feel like uh, there was a lot given to him, which is really, really great in this episode. So, yeah, but um, awesome stuff. I think this was probably my favorite Legends episode this season. Um, it just felt like, um, it just felt like classic Legends for me in terms of, um, the Legends just kept fucking things up. It went from bad to worse to catastrophic to apocalyptic. And it was only because Mick, um, siphoned the, um, um, the plutonium, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was only because of that, that they were able to, to call us a success. So, uh, and plus the general was squashed. So, oh, so I'm just attacking myself now. So that's great. Um, no, but, um, it was really, really good. Like this episode really shone in terms of characters, um, <clears throat> especially Mick, especially Nate. Uh, they were really, really incredible in this episode and it had some really ludicrous moments, like a football basically game before the world potentially ends um as well as uh Berard, you know lulling in castro so it was it was just nuts i just really loved um 
how this episode went by. And uh, yeah, like I said, I got to applaud Mick though. Like he was, he really shot in this episode. He was really the man of the hour um, in terms of um, the fact that I think that there, there is a side that, you know, Ava might be temporary captain whilst Sarah's out of the picture, but um, you know, sometimes um, she can hit dead end and Mick can find an opening. And uh, this is what happened in this episode, especially, you know, him helping the team out, um, being so determined on getting Sarah back, uh, made that alliance with Kayla. Um, it was really good stuff. So I really loved how um, how Mick was really on on top of it in this episode, because um, I feel like this is the like this is probably I don't know, maybe one of his best episodes in terms, in in a long while, I would say, um, because the spotlight really did shine on him, as it did with Nate, because, um, you know, I, I do worry that Nate is just there, like a background character, but Nate really was able to, um, he, he was, he was able to nail it in this episode, um, not just in terms of delving into his historical side, but also, um, being so defiant against the general general was just pushing for war to escalate um and um you know of course nate was trying to deflect it but he did a very good job at standing up not just um for the timeline but also um when things really um went up to 11 he steeled up and um um was very very um uh, noble and did very very well so i really really loved um as well as uh, him bringing up the whole football stuff um, in order to try and sway JFK to his side. So, yeah, but um, this is it, though. Nate was really on, on top of it, like in this episode. And um, I really thought that he did a very, very... Um, he, he did a very, very good job in terms of preventing World War Three basically from getting out of hand. So, uh, and like I said, he tried his best and things didn't go smoothly in a sense. But like I said, it was, uh, I think the combination of Nate um, trying to de-escalate things with JFK and um, winning out on that one and Mick siphoning the plutonium uh was was a nice combo uh two characters who were very very strong in this episode uh being able to uh being able to basically um um prevent things from fucking up even further so because let's let's be honest this was a doozy in terms of the legends just tripping over their shoelaces and not bothering to uh, re retie the laces, right? It was like, it just went from one one catastrophe for another, and I love to see it because uh, we all joke about the legends fucking up the timeline. Well, this was a big one. This was, this was, um, this was one of their biggest um, messes in terms of the timeline in quite some time, I believe. Like, they've done stuff, but... You know, there's such a level and they really hit the high end in this episode. So, <laughs> yeah, I just, um, I just really loved it. But, um, yeah, I really thought that this was great with Mick, um, um, being able to help out and being able to reason with Kayla in order to find, uh, Sarah. Um, there's going to be a, I wouldn't say a road trip between him and Kayla. Uh, but it essentially is, uh, especially since uh, Kayla is um, seemingly showing similar traits to um, Mick. She can be a bit aggressive uh, in her alien form. Um, we don't know what she's like uh, in her human form um, in general, but she did. She uh, like she she did try to like agree with Mick by saying, "Yeah, I just wanted, I just wanted, you know, a beer." So, um, so there are similarities seemingly. So this is going to be very very interesting to see um Mick and uh, Kayla's um um story as you know her ship is uh, about to be found and whatnot. So, yeah, but um. Yeah, I really thought that this was a uh, this was a great episode, especially like the fact that um, we were absent from a few characters um, from the norm this week with no Sarah, no Constantine and whatnot. And, you know, I I, I feel like everything was um, was was um, 
fleshed out really well. Like it didn't become too bloated in terms of uh, the characters. Like I feel like this is the pr uh, problem with the Flash. Like they've got too many characters as their main characters. Um or even just sticking around with Star Labs, uh, because otherwise things will just feel a bit, you know, bloated. And I feel like Legends did a very, very perfect, um, um, they, di they did a very, very perfect um, story with the characters that they had without it feeling like too congested and whatnot. So um, I really thought that this was um, pretty, pretty good stuff. Um, I also like seeing more Spooner being fleshed out, especially uh, her interactions with uh, Mick and um, even um, even just warming up to him, uh, especially when Ava lectured him, um, as well as the fact that we're getting a bit more focus on her character as well, like her uh, abilities are seemingly growing as well. I'm not sure if that's got something to do with, like, you know, the more aliens you encounter, the more stronger she be uh, she becomes, like, um, I, I have no idea, but... Um, um, yeah, I really, really loved Spooner's involvement and how she was there for me. So that was really, really good stuff. Um, to comment on the Nate and Zari stuff as well, because, um, you know, there was that old sentiment for, for Nate. And, um, um, I do feel like this is all linked to Zari 1.0 returning, potentially. I'm not sure because we saw her, um, last time where, um, you know, Berard and um, Zari too, they were squabbling over the totem. Um, I think that was in episode two. So yeah. Um, and then Zari one helped out. And I feel like we're going to be seeing a bit more of her. And I feel like with Nate being reminded of Zari, um, like of, of his Zari, when, you know, Zari two had her hair at certain points, I feel like that is setting things up because, uh, and, and I'm hoping that is the case. Because, at the end of the day, this is a good. This is going to be a different Zari. I mean, yeah, it 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 might stick a bit, but um, the relationship is not going to happen unless um, Zari one does emerge. So we'll just have to wait and see. But um, this is it. Like um, this is a completely different Zari. But um, you know, it it it's just playing onto old reminders for for Nate, and um, um, you know that can get the mind worked up and whatnot so yeah but um i i feel like it, like with the reminder of uh his zari that they're setting things up for zari want to potentially return i am not sure but we'll just have to wait and see so yeah but uh it was really good to see them two uh in this episode and to flesh them out a bit more and um um zari having her time to shine as well as uh nate who like i said was very very pivotal in this episode especially with him warming up to jfk trying to oppose the general who was uh hot-headed enough to try and um, uh basically go all out war um and uh die fighting at least so but um it was all it was all a dud at the end of the day so yeah but uh you know kind of got what he deserved so <laughs> yeah um but yeah i thought that this was a uh really incredible episode of legends of tomorrow it was really good in terms of how it was fleshed out um and like i said the focus on 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 um Mick and Nate and how uh, on like how they owned the spotlight in my opinion was just superb in my opinion um so yeah but uh yeah I just really loved it I'm just thinking back to the whole football bit um I just really loved it it was it was it was it was nuts it was peak legends in my opinion because the, like you can with this show you can get away with shit like this because it is par for the course and I just love it so yeah but uh yeah it was it was really really good stuff um especially with how things just kept getting from bad to worse the legends just royally fucking up as like like I said I think this is the first time in quite some time that they have really hit the high end in terms of uh, messing up the timeline uh, because World War 3 was imminent uh, they they couldn't click Mick was um, the catalyst really in terms of preventing World War 3 from happening because his his 
plea to Kalo um, really worked a treat because that would uh, open the door for the whole plutonium uh, siphoning at, uh, well, not just Mick, but uh, Nate as well, because Nate was able to convince JFK, um, especially after a game of football, which is weird, to not retaliate. And uh, so, like I said, it, it's those two working in tandem. They might not have been in the same area, but uh, their combined efforts really, uh, really saved the legend skin just. So, yeah, but... Um, it was uh, really, really great stuff. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, really loved this episode. Uh, like I said, probably my favorite this season. Um, and uh, I just really loved how everything played out. So, yeah. But I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right. If you want to check out more of my content, you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!